Hello. In this lesson, I would briefly describe how to implement counters in our WordCount program. I have attached the source code along with this lesson. Here is the driver class and it is the same as what we have discussed so far in the course. The only change I have made here is that I am referring to a new mapper class here. WordCount map with counters class. Restore is pretty much the same. Then the map class. The only change I have made is that I have put a logic to increment the counter. The statement used is context dot get counter and then comes the title under which the counter would be grouped and as the second argument comes the name of the counter. Dot increment method is used to increment the counter value by one. And this is how you can design a simple counter. This counter would be incremented only when the first letter of the word is non-alphabetic as you can see it from the code. The code to increment the counter is in the else part of the else if clause. Remember the idea of the counters is to get the quality and nature of the data that is being processed. So here it would give us an idea as to how many words in the input are starting with numbers and files actually have the correct words or not. The reducer has been exactly the same as we have discussed till now. Let me just export the jar file. I would unselect all the classes except for these three classes and click on finish. Now I am in bin folder itself, I'll ls and there I see the word count.jar created. I'll just do a JPS and see if all the demons are up and running. Yep, everything is up. So now I'll do an ls on Hadoop file system. Now here you see all the files. I've already created innum file which has input with word starting with numbers. Let me just cat that. Okay, let me run the program now. And here we see the title and the counter which we had mentioned in the code. I should have made BWC in capitals so that they would have looked better. But then that is something you can do when you are running this program. I'll just output the result here. And you can see the complete output. As an assignment, I would suggest you to run it on a large data set and experiment a little with counters. You can search Google for large text data sets and with a little effort, you'll get a large file to play with. Design a few more counters to the needs and see how the output changes.